My name is Max Feinhesich. I am originally from Costa Rica, and the name of my business is Thrive Five, where I'm CTO, and I currently live in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So the first time I came uh, to the United States, uh, it was for a short amount of time, and I came to study. It was in 2004. I actually was lucky to win a scholarship from Intel Corporation, and that brought me to WPI. So I did an exchange semester, which really opened my mind, and it was kind of the start of a, a longer journey. I came back uh, 15 years after that. In terms of obstacles, uh, everything, right? New culture, new place, having to establish yourself in a, in a new situation, meet a lot of different people. I think of, of myself and my family as a, a family of immigrants. So I think to a certain extent, the entrepreneurship or small business uh, DNA kind of runs through our blood. The entrepreneurship theme was always at the dinner table. You know, I, I, I've been in a, in a home where my dad was running his business. My mom had a small computer education company running out of our house. When I was like eight years old, we had like five computers and she was teaching people how to code. So definitely I was very exposed to, to entrepreneurship early on. And I always knew I wanted to start something. I think it was kind of one of the desires of going to, uh, you know, to a new country was also exploring a bigger market and kind of going back to my passion for technology, but starting something in that world. Yeah, so Thrive5 um, is a guided marketing solution for small business owners. We, we think of our, our mission as helping people that work in local business do what they love. And I know that might sound crazy, but that's what we're here for. A good idea, if you've got something that makes sense and you've got passion, I think the, the immigrant angle actually is, uh, gives you an edge. And I think part of it is also because immigration has created so much value for the country back to like the fact that many of my investors were immigrants themselves. So I think when, when people see that playbook and see it over and over and they see how immigrants can create a ton of value and they come at it from a different angle, they've got this creative uh, hunger in a way. I think that's what's attractive to both the investors but also the former entrepreneurs, the former operators that have seen that, that movie once. Through and through, uh, it was really like a, a story of immigrants and, and a story of networking that, that paid off. You know? Thank you.